Virgos, welcome back. We are jumping right in, going Aries through Pisces. See what your person could be thinking or feeling at the time. If it is not your story, don't try to connect your butt with it. Check back another time. Everybody has different placements. So Aries, Virgos dealing with an Aries. What's the Aries thinking and feeling at this time? All right. They know that you want absolute clarity and they feel like you have kind of friend zoned them right now. That's what I'm getting for Aries. Let's pull one more. But they do have affection and want to come your direction. So they feel you holding off. But there looks like there could be a, a new start with this person if you gave it a chance. So it really depends on how you are feeling. All right, if you're dealing with a Taurus. The Taurus is willing to put work into a situation with you. They definitely want to connect. Look at that. Two cups. Whoop, whoop. So we'll, tell, we'll let's pull one more just for fun. Can be somebody that's at a distance from you. They want to plan something. So this could be a new connection that does go far. All right. When we get to Libra, we will switch decks. Gemini, if you're dealing with a Gemini. Okay. So they feel inept and like they have no control over a situation. It does look like it could have been somebody from your past, but there isn't any movement with that. Okay, Cancer. If you're dealing with a Cancer. The Cancer feels like you stabbed them in the... Oh, my God. Really? Okay, so this person has... This person has mental issues, okay? We're talking, like, depression, and they feel like all the burden is on them, and they're blaming you. <laughs> okay. Say suck an egg. All right, Leo. Leo. All right, well, I don't know that this is somebody that looks like that is from your past. If they come in and out, they're not going to stick around. We got the page of wands on the bottom. They're feeling you out. They're flirting. They're not coming out even like suave. <laughs> not at all. Mm -mm. If they come around, they're not going to stick around. And if you are dealing with a Virgo, Virgo with a Virgo. Can also be a Pisces or a Pisces placement. They are done with something and feel ooh, affection. They could be looking to have a connection with you after they had an ending. All right, let's move this out of the way and we will start in, jump right in with the Libra. All right, and then we will do a mini spread and see if we can narrow it down. Libra, what's the Libra thinking? Mm, they're impatient, very impatient, and this doesn't seem like it's going anywhere, but boy, do they have an interest in you. It also can be that they're seeing you as very abundant. They know that you have a lot to offer. Happy messages, passionate. You know, this can be just their disposition as well. Kind of a tough one. We'll see what comes up in your fuller spread. All right, Scorpios. Scorpio could be dealing with their finances a lot right now. Let's get one or two more. Okay. There's been a big change for them. Now, I'm not sure if they're feeling this way about you, but generally speaking, it would be assuming that they are. Okay. The Queen of Wands is bossy. Fickle doesn't know exactly what she wants. Can act moody and bitchy. You know, goes after things just to have them and then just kind of, you know, puts them off to the side. So if they're feeling that way about you, it's because of the fact that there was an ending. Ten of Pentacles, tens are the end of something, goes back in the cycle, okay? Mm. Also could be that they ended something with somebody because they were too possessive and liars. All right, Sag. Okay, the Sagittarius, mm -mm, yeah. the Sagittarius misses you and, you know, feel they don't feel like themselves. They want back in. I wouldn't be surprised if that came up with a separate deck. I really wouldn't. Okay, Capricorn. The Capricorn, also can be a Leo, is really trying to be compassionate. And they're seeing you as the King of Wands reverse. Now, that means we have the king and queen of wands reversed and somehow i feel that this ties in so it can be that you have an aries leo or sag 
that you are dealing with overall that's just coming in really strong. But let's just say that King of Wands, he's very critical, cold-hearted, doesn't keep his promises. He's controlling, and so is she. Not sure what we're going to do with that just yet. Okay, Aquarius. We're dealing with an Aquarius. Somehow I feel like that ties in. The Aquarius doesn't feel that this is worth the... Well, wow. They don't think this is worth the, the fight, and they feel that you have somebody else in mind, and that they have to compete, and that you're just not making up your mind. And Pisces. What's the Pisces thinking? Okay, the Pisces sees that you have a lot of different opportunities and that you're just not sure about what direction you want to go for a connection or a relationship. Bottom of the deck, we have the Queen of Swords. So also showing that you're, you know, putting a lot of thought into it and you'll listen to somebody as far as it's almost you're lining up the suitors, guys. Next. Yeah, next. Oof. Okay. Let's see what we have, if we can narrow it down a little bit. We're going to grab this deck here. Source, what's the main energy for Virgos at this time? Down to the floor. So what hit the dirt was the Three of Wands. Ooh. Okay. So you're expanding. You're moving forward. You're putting a lot of work into something. The Three of Wands can be somebody that's at a distance from you. It also can be that you have a bit of a weight yet. So let's see what we have. Recent past. Okay. So there was somebody. Oh, yeah. Somebody bailed, walked out the door. They're really feeling sorry about it. They weren't as committed as they pretended to be. And boy, are they up in their damn head. Feeling sorry for themselves not focusing correctly and they screwed themselves look at i mean look at this you got the six of swords and the eight of cups and they're both watching your ass walk away all right how does virgo feel about this oh virgo you're writing a book that's for therapy and coaches not for tarot okay let's see this one came out first, so you're not as burdened about this as you have been. You are not sharing. You're not talking to this person. You don't give quite a frankly a shit, shit, shit about this person right now. It does not look like it. Mm -mm. The moon came out. The queen of wands came out, which was the one that we had in the mini spread, and you are defensive as hell. It's almost like, don't even bother. High priestess and the moon, secrets. You know that there have been secrets, and you're not dealing with it anymore. So when it comes to this connection, you you won't pull back. You'll let them have it. You're really done with it. Can be a Pisces that you're dealing with. You, you're not dealing with somebody that's going to be shitty. Emotion. It's almost this person that just gets a kick out of trying to emotionally manipulate. Like you're a notch in the belt and you're just not having it. You have really, you know manned or femaled and did it, it up you are not going to share with them what you are planning what you are moving towards and here is what you are moving towards the sun and the knight of cups so it's like you have something new coming and you don't want them to you don't want them to shit on it okay it's like stay the hell out of my happy parade clarify the sun clarify the sun I think this person would be jealous as hell. You have, you're going to have, if you don't already, if you don't already have somebody coming in that's trying to offer you something. And I don't know that you're necessarily telling you know anybody how you feel, but ooh, it gives you like warm fuzzies all over the place. Can be a Leo sign. What else? Pisces we have up here. Taurus. What you aren't tolerating anymore is that, you know, you're really going to put your foot down with the next person and say, I know, I know in my gut, in my every being, if there's bullshit and I'm not having it, <laughs> you are really going to put your foot down. Tell me more about this Knight of Cups. Tell me more about this Knight of Cups. Okay, I think they're true blue. So the person that could be trying to come your direction, don't kill, don't kill them. <laughs> Unless you have a lot of room in your backyard because this person wants to offer commitment. With the King of Pentacles, they're, uh, 
hard worker. They have a strong foundation for family. They offer plenty. Okay, that Ten of Pentacles is showing everything that's needed is achieved. Well, hello, that's sweet. I mean, why not? Looks good to me. All right. Um, clarify that Three of Wands at the top. Why do we have potential waiting or a distance? Okay, somebody needs to move. I mean, there could be a need for a move. There could be a need for a move. It could be somebody needing to make the first move can be a cancer also with a chariot here. That's what we're getting for clarification. I think somebody's definitely interested in you and wants to come your direction. Yeah. I do, I do, I do. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Two of Cups, the Ten of Cups, and Justice. Okay, it can be a Libra that she's dealing with. The Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups. Ah. <gasps> Can you hear the ah from the heavens above? Sweet. The two of cups was upright. This is a choice, possibly, but it is also a union. Okay. Um, right under that. Oh, my. Well, holy crap. Oh, we'll take everything. Take it. Take it all, Virgo. Look at that. Making a choice, something that's solid. Okay. Not jumping right into it, but look at that. You got a counter set here. Ooh, 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 ooh. Can be a water sign, can be an Aquarius. This is hopes and dreams, fulfillment and healing. Take the time to heal, and if somebody's trying to offer you something, give them a chance. Because this looks really damn nice. Obviously, can't be for everybody that's watching, but ooh, 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 you have some nice vibes coming to you. All right, we're going to try for one yes or no question. So I have something in mind and see what we can get for you. Source Spirits Guides. Yes, no, maybe so for Virgo. We have. Get more information. It's up to you. And choose a direction. So yeah, you will have a choice. You had two twos in your spread to begin with. It's up to you. You will have your choice. What direction you need to move in and get more information. So it's getting to know somebody, something new, and choosing a path. This looks sweet. I'm leaving it right there. All right. We will see you next week with your spread. Thank you for watching, Virgos, and many blessings.